Well, President Trump with a dramatic ex escalation in the battle over the border announcing new tariffs on Mexico unless the country takes action to stop migrants from crossing into the U.S. That announcement catching even some Republicans off guard new here at 4. ABC's Trevor Alt has the very latest. President Trump imposing tariffs against America's third biggest trading partner. 5% on all goods imported from Mexico starting June 10th, with the threat of an additional 5% increase every month, up to 25%, unless Mexico cuts off illegal immigration at the border. The White House saying these actions come after warning Mexico to do something about the border for months. Anybody in this country, or frankly in the world, that says that they're surprised by this uh, has been living under a rock and not paying attention. But some Republicans appear to have been caught off guard. Representative Peter King telling Fox News he didn't think anyone knew this was coming, saying the president has the power to raise tariffs, but there will be collateral damage. Obviously, it will have more of an impact on Mexico than on us, but many American businesses, and that means many American workers, could be affected by this. The president says the tariffs could drive businesses that move to Mexico, like many in the auto industry, back to the United States, adding that Mexico must take back their country from the drug lords and cartels. The tariff is about stopping drugs as well as illegals. It's a humanitarian and national security crisis, and it has to be dealt with. Democrats have responded to the tariffs with criticism. The Democratic-led House Homeland Security Committee tweeting that the president, quote, has a severe lack of understanding when it comes to both immigration as well as basic economics. Several Republicans have responded cautiously to the tariff, supporting the president but saying the consequences need to be watched closely. But Republican Senator Chuck Grassley has criticized the president, calling this a misuse of presidential tariff authority. Trevor Alt, ABC News, Washington.